a UFC featherweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Laguna Hills, California, Ben. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the fellow. Oh, just misses with the kick. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Tie. Let them go now. 
Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin has held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. And both guys really throwing with authority. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. Whiffs on the straight right here. Nice straight punch. Leg kick. Just over three minutes now to go. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. What a punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Superman punch. And he landed the right hand there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to rain. Don't wait. You hit him first. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. They continue to exchange. It's such a fast leg kick. Land the switch beat. Well, one got through. That kick was one. Single collar tie now. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing on the side of the opponent's head over and over again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Stung by that leg kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Take that, take that. Take that. Just misses there with the left. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward, and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly as we saw in the lead up to that attack. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Oh, straight right. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole
whole platter, your man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Ooh, what a punch. Well, the body work's starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Effective strike there by Lee. Wild swing there. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, that's a good right hand. Checks that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Blocks the shot. is true now the right hand oh massive kick to the body lands flush oh straight right continues to mix it up going to the head mixing in some body shots all right single collar tie now big kick land oh a huge block there kick to the outside of that leg -like for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Boy, Thai Plum. Oh, what a hit he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Now he's got the Muay Thai Plum. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Oh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent 
for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop him. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Nice leg kick. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Lee's shot is blocked. Got clip with the right hand. He's going after the head. Nice punch there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Head kick. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Liver kick. Oh, and he lands another kick there. Beautiful work on him. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Good punch, land. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Beautiful kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Cable inches right there. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Hook to the body appeared to be blocked by the defense. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can round. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice. What a body kick. And they separate. Oh, big punch land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Real quick leg kick. Missed with that attempt. Punch is blocked. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. One of the most important strikes for the clinch is this big body shot. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Nice strike. Oh, huge block! Just a slip there. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this. Oh, he might be out. That comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, 
Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Come on, let's get this together now, all right? You've been here before and you're gonna overcome this. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Still nice body his hands. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. He loaded up on that right hand, too. That one snuck in. Nice strike. He can really limit the mobility. This might be the biggest shot of this. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Back to the feet now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Big punch land. Ooh. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Can't take many of those, you better check. Body. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed as he throws is crazy. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. a minute now to go in the round. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Lee. Look 
Ground and pound strike is true. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. 20 seconds to go. 15 seconds. remaining here in round four. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now, the cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there, should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. It is the fifth and final round. his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming, but he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a deep. Great punch landed with so much power. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the U.S. top. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Now it's his mount. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. with that jab attempt there. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Close guard. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Back to the feet now. of stages. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called stop to this contest at two minutes, 20 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. So there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.